Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and it's 5.13 p.m., and it's Wednesday, October 2nd, 2024. Anyway, earlier today I reviewed the original one of this, but now I'm going to be reviewing the sugar-free version. Um, it's the new Winter Edition Red Bull for this year, and it's definitely interesting flavored. Um, anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the Iced Vanilla Berry winter edition red bull the sugar free one so oh yeah boys look at that can so oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah looks pretty much the same as the normal one except it has a blue stripe around the top it has a blue stripe where it says sugar free down there too um but the rest of the can is pretty much the same design wise anyway um but yeah One has a silver top with a light blue or a baby blue Red Bull tab. The normal one had a silver Red Bull tab, so that one's also a little bit different. And then the bomb has the Best Buy in production code, Best Buy August 13th, 2025, so it's still fresh for a while. Around the top it just says sugar free all the way around the top of it. Red Bull the Winter Edition, sugar free, iced vanilla berry, artificially flavored, energy drink, vitalizes body and mind, 355 milliliters, 12 fluid ounces, zero sugar per can, 10 calories per can. Please recycle has a recycling logo and some other stuff. The ball logo, some other codes, www.redbull.com. And then it has the Red Bull logo, you know, going down the side of it. Red Bull, the winter edition, sugar free, the taste of iced vanilla berry artificially flavored, the wings of Red Bull. Red Bull is appreciated worldwide by top athletes, busy professionals, college students, and travelers on long journeys as a low calorie product. Nutrition Pack Story says one can amount per serving calories 10. Total fat, 0 grams, 0%. Sodium, 200 milligrams, 9%. Total carbohydrates, 3 grams, 1%. Total sugar, 0 grams. Includes 0 grams, added sugar, 0%. Protein, 0 grams. Niacin, 140%. Vitamin B6, 350%. Vitamin B12, 120%. Pentathenic acid, 70%. Caffeine content, 114 milligrams per 12 fluid ounces. They also have these cans in the 8 ounce cans, and those ones have 80 milligrams caffeine, so these ones are a little bit stronger, you know. No recommend for children, pregnant or nursing women, and persons sensitive to caffeine. And the ingredients, carbonated water, citric acid, taurine, sodium citrate, natural artificial flavors, caffeine, sucralose, acylphane K, which is acylphane potassium, xanthan gum, niacinamide, pyridoxine hydrochloride, calcium pentothenate, blue one, and vitamin B12. Served by Red Bull North America Incorporated, Santa Monica, California, 90404, copyright 1996 and 2013. Has the SKU and a QR code. Scan here for more food information or call phone numbers 1 866. 4605830. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire can. So let you see it real quick. Already showed you the top and the bottom, but um anyway. But yeah, right now, um, this is a Walmart exclusive for about a month. October 1st was the official release date, but um actually got it a week ago today. But my Walmart only had the four pack of the 12 ounce cans. Um, but they're also selling these cans individually and also the eight ounce ones. Probably in like some of the refrigerators near the front of the store. Or on the energy drink aisle. I don't know. But yeah, my Walmart only had the four packs of the 12 ounce cans. And that's actually a pretty good deal for it. It's like $8. Normally the 12 ounce cans are about $3 each at the gas station. So um, I got a little bit cheaper than you know, getting them at the gas station, you know. There's the other code, it's very little. I don't know if we'll focus on it. I think I did it the wrong way. But yeah. There's the nutrition facts side. I tried to show off the can up close this morning when I filmed that part of the video. But like I want to focus on the text good because it's like reflective and against that blue background I guess it's like hard to see other ingredients and stuff in the warning just have to pause it wherever you can see it best the distributor information the QR code and the SKU Okay, that was pretty much the entire can, but anyway, I'm going to show off the can up closer quick, so hold on a minute. 
the new sugar-free winter edition Red Bull. It's ice vanilla berry flavored. This one pretty much looks the same as the normal version, except it has that blue sugar-free stripe around the top of it. But yeah, silver top with a light blue Red Bull tab. Um, it's Best Buy Dayton production code, August 13th, 2025, so it's still fresh for a while. Sugar-free. Same Red Bull logo. The winter edition. Iced vanilla berry flavored. I don't know if I'll be able to see this text good or not. It's reflective and it's not really wanting to focus too good. Nutrition facts. SKU. Some other code. Okay. Anyway. That's pretty much the entire canning way, and I'm gonna finish my review for it, so hold on a minute. Okay, I shut off the can up close, and I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. Open it, taste it, and give my review for it, so hold on a minute. Okay, opened it in the color. Um, this one was a little bit harder to tell inside the can. Um, inside the can it looked more like a dark blue, but um, it's like a light blue. It's like clear with like a tint of light blue baby blue. It looks like the tab a little bit. I don't know if you can tell with my lighting though. Yeah, it's like a light blue though. Um, but I'm anyway the scent. Whoa, 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 whoa. It smells similar to like the normal version. Definitely has like a blue raspberry scent, but um, I don't really smell the vanilla though. But, um, it does have a little bit of, like, a cotton candy scent. Um, the normal version definitely smelled way more blue raspberry. And, um, I didn't really smell the cotton candy, but I had a little bit of, like, a cotton candy taste to it. But, um, this one, the cotton candy, like, scent is definitely more noticeable. Um, a little bit more noticeable anyway. Um, but, yeah, it's still, like, a light blue raspberry, not, like, a strong blue raspberry, like a blue raspberry Jolly Rancher. It's definitely more like a blue icy type of blue raspberry. Um, yep, definitely just smells sweet. Um, but I mean, wait, I'm gonna try it, so here goes. <clears throat> oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. For a zero sugar drink, it's definitely really tasty. Tastes pretty much just the same as the, um, normal for sugared version. Um, but this has, like, way less sugar. Except, um... This one's a little bit different. Um, I don't know if I can describe this the right way, but um, even though it's a liquid when you're drinking this, although it feels more drier than the normal version, um, don't know how to really explain it, but um, it's not really the carbonation. Yeah, it's still lightly carbonated, not too carbonated, so you can probably chug if you want to, but um, yeah, I don't think it's the carbonation, but there's something about it. Like, it feels different when you're drinking it. Not really the texture, but, um, like the taste feels like drier. It's a little bit hard to explain, I mean. It's like, um, when you're drinking a drink and, like, um, the tab is, like, barely open. How, like, when it feels like when it's coming out, you know? Sort of like that, but, um, the can's, like, all the way. The tab's all the way open. It's not, like, barely open, so that's interesting. Because, like, um, when you're drinking it, it feels like the tab's, like, barely open. But it's, like, opened all the way. So it's, like, a little weird, you know, just saying. Um, but, yeah, it's a good mix of flavors. Mostly blue raspberry. I'd probably say, like, 80% blue raspberry. Um... But yeah, it does have a teeny bit of like a cotton candy sore taste. Forgot to mention in my last review, um, this flavor is actually out in like other countries. But um, it's like called different in like other countries. Um, this flavor was originally going to be called Iced Gummy Bear here. But they changed it to Iced Vanilla Berry. But in some countries I still think it's Iced Gummy Bear. But um, it's even though it has a different name, it's like still the same flavor though. Um, 
but yeah, it's interesting that they have different names for this flavor in different countries. Um, but yeah, it might taste like a gummy bear a little bit. It does have a little bit of like a citrusy taste. Mm. But um, yeah, mostly just tastes the blue raspberry and the um, um, cotton candy a little bit. It's like um, if you got those pink and blue like swirl popsicles from the ice cream man, you know. And then like um, maybe dip it in a little bit of like a blue icy or something. Um, that's what this would be like. Definitely really good. And this actually might be one of my favorite winter edition Red Bulls. This flavor anyway. Um, but I still prefer the sugared version over the sugar free version. There's something weird about the sugar free version. It, like feels like dry when you're drinking it. So it doesn't feel as like not really as full of flavor. It is tasty, just like the full flavored version. But um. There's something about it. It's like, um, not as juicy tasting. Um, but yeah, it's still really good though, especially for a sugar free Red Bull. Um, energy wise, I'll still definitely give pretty less 114 milligrams of caffeine, so I have B vitamins. I'm um, say for the 8 ounce can, that's about 2.5 hours, about 3.5 hours of energy for the 12 ounce can though. I would say about 3.5 hours to about 5 hours of energy, may work a little bit more. So, oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, still definitely you really lit, you know, just saying. Um, but yeah, I give the normal version a 10 out of 10, but um, the sugar-free one's still really good, but um, yeah, I don't like it as much as the sugared version, but um, it's still really good though. Um, so yeah, I'd probably give it like a high nine. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give the new sugar-free winter edition Red Bull, the iced vanilla berry. You know what, boys, you know what? I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. So oh yeah, boys, still really good. So oh yeah, it's lit. So oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10, oh yeah. Um, it's not too carbonated. Um, has a cool can design, tastes good, energy wise it works pretty good, it's okay priced. Right now it's a Walmart exclusive for about a month, but um, after that you should be able to find it at other gas stations and other places, like Target and stuff. Um, so yeah, definitely be on the lookout for it, very tasty, definitely an interesting mix of flavors. But um, yeah, it's mostly a blue raspberry type of flavor, but like a lighter blue raspberry. Um, but yeah, it does have like a mixture of flavors to it though, so it's a little bit more unique, but um... Yeah, I still don't know if it's my favorite winter edition or not. I think I like the um, plum one, maybe best of the winter editions, but this one's still actually really good though. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. So um, anyway, my next four reviews are going to be the new 7-Eleven 7 Select Fusion Energy Drinks. So you know, for those reviews, um, I'm not for sure which flavor I'm going to be reviewing first. So, first, so, um, so just see them in my current reviews, some more videos, some more watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.